Yeah, I mean, you know, the exercise pretty early on in forming Track House was, you know, obviously, you know, the, the, the greatest mistake we can make or the greatest decision we can make is who we put in this car to launch this company. And so, you know, we went through the process of, you know, looking at the driver market and going, you know, there's a couple of boxes that we wanted to check there. One was we wanted somebody with a lot of cup experience. We wanted somebody who, when they've been in a winning situation, have closed. We wanted somebody that had, had a chip on their shoulder. And, you know, Daniel, Daniel was all of those things. I mean, a lot of cup starts, obviously, with, with Gibbs and Stuart Haas, like you said. You know, so he knew how the cup series went. He knew, you know, who these guys were and how to race cup races. Um, and, you know, he, he obviously, he's a, he's a winner because, you know, he sat in that Gibbs car in the Xfinity series and closed the deal, won the championship. He won, you know, won a truck race or a couple truck races for KBM. Uh, and he had a chip on his shoulder. Like he, he was, he was with those big teams. He'd gotten knocked down a couple of times and was, was it uh, Gaunt brothers racing and in that 96 car and was finishing, you know, 33rd every weekend. And it was like, this isn't how my story is going to end. I need to get back. So, so um, he was pretty much an obvious choice for us. And I think when he says that this, you know, track house was his, is his best opportunity. And trust me, I know how that sounded at that time. Um, I think it's because, you know, I went to him and said, this is your race team. Like we're, we're building this team around you. We are all about you. Just tell us what you need and I will do it for you. Um, and I don't know if he'd ever been told that in his cup career. And I think that's why he felt like, finally, I've got people that are truly behind me. And we can talk about what his situations at, G at Gibbs was and, and at Stuart Haas and everything. But I just don't think that there were a lot of teams that really saw the potential in Daniel as the athlete. And uh, they saw other opportunities around Daniel. And, and I just saw him as, as somebody that I truly believed was a winner in this sport and knew for our company that if we got him there, it was going to be a great story. And, and Corey, you know, as is, you know, we're race teams, but we're also marketing organizations and we're trying to tell stories and we're trying to um, cultivate followings and, and everything. And Daniel's, you know, great with that. He's got a great story. He's a great brand ambassador. And I just knew that a win in the cup series for him was going to be something that was going to, you know, resonate um, deeply uh, for a long time. And, and it has, and it will.